Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some basic page structure, particularly stru sectioning out a web page. So I've got a blank page set up here called structure.html, and it's got a few standard stuff, uh, standard items that we've already checked out. But let's go and check out the body section of this page. Let me zoom in a little bit more, myself a little more room to work. Now, the body of a page can really be broken up into, let's say, a couple sections to a half dozen uh, key sections and not all of these sectioning elements need to be used but let's go ahead and just make sure we're clear on some of the key ones uh, I'll go ahead and create that uh, header element we've seen this before and within the header I might have things like uh, the key navigation for the site And I'd like you to think of this as maybe the navigation that is on every web page of your site, regardless of the page. And we might also have the, uh, the main name or heading for the site. So think about the apple.com or you know the Apple logo, any kind of the, the key branding, the key logo, something like that. Uh, the logo actually may be a separate element, an image inside of the header. So the header is on every single page in the website. And let me go ahead and jump down a little bit more. Similarly, we might also have that footer. And of course, that footer content, which we would have on every web page standard footer content. And this, of course, is going to be stuff like uh, copyright info, privacy policy, if your website has that kind of information, um, perhaps a contact or sitemap, all of that kind of stuff. And let me just at least spell this properly. Okay, so we've got the header and the footer for every page of our website. Pretty standard stuff. Every page is going to have that. Now we might also have some other stuff on our web page and let's go ahead and use the article element. The article element is relatively new and the way I'd like you to think about the article element is an element that contains a completely independent set of content. What that really means is is this would be a chunk of your web page and it could be almost be the entire web page depending but it's a chunk of your web page that you could redistribute and the person who received it would have everything they need you could think of this as a magazine article for instance okay now that's not really what article means article doesn't have to be magazine article it could be a blog post okay so a blog post could be a unique article Think of the article tag as almost like an article of clothing. A jacket is an article of clothing, and it can be used in entirety by someone else. You simply have to give them your jacket, just like a pair of socks is an article of clothing or a pair of pants. Okay, so an article. Now, it might be easiest, though, to think of it as a blog post or a traditional magazine article. And within this article, you might have, lo and behold, a header. Yes, you could have a header within your article. Perhaps all articles have the same header and of course you could have a footer in the article and the header might contain uh, some unique information about the article. For instance, maybe we've got the uh, article's headline. You could also think of this as the blog post title. And you might also have a paragraph that has info about the author. Okay, so that would be the header of the article. Now, after the header, you might have, you know, a bunch of text within paragraphs. Okay, so just kind of imagine we've got a series of paragraphs here, and I'll just do a bunch of that. And other things you might have inside of your um, article. Let's see, we could have an aside. Now aside is kind of a pull out. It's a extra information related to the article but not a specific part of the article. So if you're doing an article about, let's say, Steve Jobs, you might have an aside about 
Wozniak or something like that. Yeah, because maybe you mentioned Wozniak's name in the article, so you have an aside about that or some other kind of ancillary information. Now, in addition to an aside, there's also a section tag, okay? Now, this section of this article could be devoted to things like um, photos, or maybe you have uh, comments. You know, so, you know, in a blog post, people can can provide comments and things like that. So this could be a particular section of this article, and you could end up having multiple sections. You could have a section just for photos, a section just for comments, uh, maybe a section of just footnote information of sources of a particular article. So we have the article tag. We have, of course, there's a nav tag up there. We've got the aside, the section tag, and of course there's the header and the footer tag as well. These are key structural elements of your web page that help define the purpose of each of these key parts.